Hello everyone. Today we're gonna look at morphs again. And why? Because we have a new Death Studio 4.5 and things are a little bit different for morphs. Actually, it's a lot easier. So I was gonna show you um, some of the changes that have been done and um, some things I didn't show you in the first tutorial about morphs. But we're gonna work on the Magus jacket and right now it's red but I need it to be a lighted color so you guys can see what I'm doing so we'll jump right into this of course you can create a deformer through create you can bring up the deform tab but I already have it on my right sidebar so let's just get to work here so let's create a deformer here you see uh, all the little points and everything so I'm gonna move this to the point where I want now this Magus jacket has a bunch of morphs that come with it but none of them do what I want it to do okay so we have it somewhat positioned I'll go to parameters we'll scale this down and another quick thing I want to show you, if you go to the actual uh, morpher, the deform thing that actually morphs it, and then you go to display, you get a bunch of options. All these points are really small, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell uh, where everything is, so you can manipulate these controls, these sliders to help you out so there's the you can make the points bigger you can make the opacity higher you can see it really good here and now I'm back on the field so I want the wrist to kind of flare out I don't like it tight like that for some things it might be good but for this I want it to flare out I'm going to bring that down to about here. And I'm going to try and do this with one morph. And that's the cool thing. You can use multiple morphs. Like, if it's not quite, quite uh, morphing the way that you want, you can bring in another morph and just take a little section of whatever you're working on and morph that little section a little bit more, a little bit less, whatever. And I'm going to show you how to use two morphs, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently for this. I think I have it positioned pretty much how I want it. We got to get the base in the same spot. So I'm on the field and I'm going to copy and all these points for the field onto the base. Just so I know I'm in the exact same spot. Okay, one more. Copy and paste. All right, now we can start deforming this, and I'm just going to scale it. And let's turn this off so I can see what I'm doing. And actually, that is looking really good, especially for a single morph. Okay, I won't flare it out too much, so I want this to come out a little bit more see how centered this is so let's bring it this way okay that looks pretty good to me maybe a little bit more right there okay and then maybe scale the Y a little bit more and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this okay so this way it looks like it's hanging a little bit oops right there we have that side done and now we need to do the opposite side so we go back to our def deform tab let's create another one see I clicked on the jacket okay and now the second one is going to be the complete opposite of the first one this top translate this X on the X axis this is going to be 
the complete opposite direction. So I'm going to paste this in and I'm going to add a little minus for a negative and that should put me right where I want it. And then I can just copy both these two fields plug them right in and that should put me where right where I want to be okay there we go Thanks. okay now we need the deformer there so oh, now I don't need to change this one because I already did that for the side okay there we go copy paste and the last one And now for the deform, it gets real simple. Uh, I moved it a little bit, so I'm going to have to copy all of these. Now remember, the x is the opposite, so I need to add a little negative in there. And then this one, copy, paste. And I should end up with two morphs that are exactly the same. The last one, or actually I have one more to do after this. Actually, two more, maybe. Paste. Three more. <laughs> okay. Because I messed with the other two, couple fields. So, uh, the other scales. Paste. What the heck is going on there? I didn't do this scale. Copy. Because I'm getting too much of the outfit. There we go. Okay, what was left here? I needed the Y, copy, paste, no. and one last one. Copy and, oops, paste. So now we have two sides that are pretty much exactly the same. And now we can create our morph. Bam. So all of this part is pretty much exactly like the old version. So I'm going to say loose sleeves. Okay, yes. Now we have loose sleeves. Okay, all of this has changed quite a bit. To get it the way that I like, I, I want to use limits, and I don't want to use it as a percentage. Now I'm going to want to change the minimum to zero. So we only have one parameters tab before we had two, and everything that you want to change, like this stuff, kind of put the colors that I use for this. Ooh, wait a minute. Why didn't it do it? There we go. That one and okay, so that's the way I do it. And their morphs, the morphs that come with this jacket, if you look, where is it? Okay, like left arm. It, what it does is it just morphs the whole arm, and you have to. You, it doesn't morph the right side. So what I did is I put both of these morphs the right and left side on one morph. You can change both sides. Okay, but let's create the morph first. So uh, we're selected on the jacket, save as, support asset, morph, asset. So the vendor's name is me, Meg Hugh, and we're going to call this jacket morphs. Okay. And then we need to choose the morph. Loose sleeves. Okay, so now it's saved. And now I'm going to show you in detail how to um, add in some of the... Ooh, no, I have to find it. There it is. Okay, we need the jacket. Morphs. Okay. And where's Medhi? So we have are one more there. Uh, let me go find my little icon. 
that I like to use with all my morphs. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have. I'm going to copy this icon, and I'm going to put this little icon in this folder. So if you look up here, look at this directory. Okay, I'm putting the icon right inside the folder that where my uh, morph is. I can take this and I'm going to copy this location. Now that I have this morph here and I want to put a little icon, it's going to be in the card one. So not the icon one, but the card one. And because I copied that location, I can just paste it in, hit enter, and there's my little icon. So then I save it, and my little symbol will show up right there that designates that this is a morph that I made. Uh, so let's go to shaping. And if I wanted that morph to show up in the shaping uh, preferences and everything, all I have to do is instead of having it be a morph, I could put it on the actor's one, the actor's path. So right here, you look at path, it says path morphs. Now I could change this to be, let's see, um, jacket maybe? Yes, let's put it under jacket. Okay. If I just hit accept now, if you look over here, under jacket, there's my little morph. I no longer see morph here. And if you go under actor here, you should see my morph at the bottom. Okay, so I've changed a bunch of stuff on him, or on that morph, so now I need to resave it, so let's save as, support asset, morph, and what did I call this? I called this jacket, morphs, let's make sure that's right, here we go, jacket morphs. Choose my morph. It's under actors, under jackets, right there, and save that. So that's basically how you uh, work this new Daz Studio 4.5. I hope you have fun uh, playing with morphs and have a good one.